In order to follow along with the exercises in this course, you'll need a code editor and a modern C++ compiler. Any compiler that supports C++ 20 should work. For demonstration purposes, I mostly use Xcode on a Mac because it has a clear, uncluttered display, and it's easy to compile and run the code in the same tool. I also demonstrate a few things on Windows using Microsoft Visual Studio. Keep in mind that any editor and compiler that supports C++ 20 will do fine. You do not need to use Xcode or Visual Studio. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up Xcode to follow along with the lessons. The exercise files for my courses may be found on my GitHub. The files for this course are at github.com slash bweinman slash cpptoolchain. You can easily download a zip file with the exercise files by pressing this button and selecting download zip. Then you unzip the exercise files folder and store it somewhere where you remember where it is. I've stored it on my desktop here on this Mac. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up Xcode on a Mac. If you're not using a Mac or don't want to use Xcode, you may safely skip this lesson. I'll start by firing up Xcode here. For my Xcode setup, I create a workspace. So I come up here to File, New, Workspace. And I'm going to store this workspace under my home directory, which on my computer, it's named Bill W. On your computer, it will be named something different. And I create a new folder, and I call it Xcode. And I name my workspace CPP Working. Of course, you can name it whatever you like, as long as you can find it. And I click Save. I now have a workspace called CPP Working with nothing in it. So I want to create a project, and I want to put it inside my workspace. So I come up here to File, New Project. And you select Command Line Tool under Mac OS. This is really important. All of these exercises are command line tools. Press Next. And I'm going to name this Working for my project. It says Product Name. That's the same as Project Name. All this stuff team, organization identifier, bundle identifier, you can leave those at the defaults. They will be different than mine. I have a team because I have a development account with Apple. You may not have one and that's fine. All that matters here is that you select for language C++. We press next and we want to make sure that we add it to our project. So under add to, you want to select your project name and it'll automatically fill in this group. We don't need a Git repository. If you want one and you know what you're doing, you may do that. We don't need it for this purpose, and I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible here. We're going to store our project in the Xcode directory that we already created, along with our workspace, and that's fine, and I press Create. Now, inside of my workspace, I now have my working project. And then all I got to do is take my exercise files and drag them in. I'm going to drag it above. You can drag it below, but you got to be really careful to get that line to go all the way to the left. And that's not really easy to do with this interface. So I always just put it above. We don't want copy. Folder references is fine. And I press finish. And now my exercise files up there. I want them below my working. So I just drag my working above the exercise files. Now I have my exercise files here. There's just two files in it. And I have my working project here. It has this CPP main. And if I show you that, you notice that it has a main function. And you're only allowed one main function in a C++ program. And so in order to use any of these, like the hello.cpp has its own main, I need to actually delete this. Select it, press the delete key on my Mac. Select Move to Trash, we don't need that. And then holding down the Option key, I drag hello.cpp into working under the working folder, indented like that. And now I want to select copy items if needed. Even though I was holding down the Option key, it still wants me to confirm that I want to copy the files. And I press Finish. Now I have a copy of hello.cpp, and I can work on it, I can modify it, I can do whatever I want, and my original is still intact. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this window. I'm going to close this right pane. We don't need that. 
And before we can go any further, we need to set up our compiler to use the latest standard C20. So I come up here to my working project, not the folder, not the hello.cpp, the working project, and I'll have these options here. I'm going to come over to build settings, and under filter, I'm going to type language. And then I get language related things, and under Apple Clang Language C, C, language dialect, you'll notice that it says C17. That's not what we want. We want C20. GNU 20 is simply C20 with a few extensions. I usually select that. You can select either of these and it'll work just fine. I'm going to select GNU 20. Now I'm compiling for C20. I can come back over here to my hello.cpp and to run it, press Command R and that will both compile and run all in one command. The first time you do this, it takes it a minute. Xcode is doing some maintenance behind the scenes. Here's our result. You notice there's an extra little debug window to the left. I can close that with this button here. And I can drag this up a little bit. And now we have successfully set up our development environment. We've set up our compiler for C20. We know how to delete from our working project and copy files over from our exercise files. That's important. We're going to be doing that a lot. And Command R will always build and run in Xcode. Xcode is an excellent IDE and has many configurable options. This simple setup should give you a good working environment to follow along with the exercises in this course.